color coding. Uh, in Pythagoras' time, he used uh, red as C, orange as D, yellow as E, green as F, blue as G, A as indigo, and B as violet. Now, what you're seeing on the screen is the complementary color where C is green and D is blue-green and E is blue and F is violet, G is a magenta, A is orange and B is yellow. Now we'll go into another quadrant. I use these as therapy. I use the Landoma keyboard as therapy. There are many people who are now using them as uh, for music composition and others who are using them as therapy. One woman is working in Hawaii with dolphins and is able to actually create this, Im imitate really the sounds of dolphins. I'll show you how that would be. are quite high frequencies. Now plants are very different. There is a woman who has a little farm in Utah who is using the third quadrant to grow lettuce, make compost piles um, mature faster. And this is how this sounds. There are many different ways to use the uh, Landoma keyboard. It's really, um, it's a sort of magical, mystical experience because you have a tactile feel when you can feel the uh, shapes, the, the colors. And since it's all electronic, our bodies are made of electricity and uh, we're really part of the whole electric system and uh, the tactile using your fingers which are very very similar to um, well they're the most sensitive I think almost part of our bodies and we with hands I think there we differentiate ourselves from animals somehow um, And uh, the other things that I can tell you, there's very much to, to learn about um, sound, about color, and about emotions when um, one is really working with pure harmonic sounds. The only thing that I can say is if you just play as though you're a child. I often say when I give my lectures, um, pretend that you're a, in kindergarten in Atlantis or Lemuria and you've just discovered this ability to uh, see colors, hear sounds, see shapes, uh, and you're in a sort of a wonder and then you will spend your logical brain will be so intrigued by the uh, mathematical beauty that uh, this wonderful creative part of your mind will just uh, hold forth and you can just do all sorts of imaginings. It's like instant meditation. I have worked in um, a drug rehab for eight years back in the um, 70s and 80s 
and a men's prison for six months. And the um, therapeutic results of people hearing, the, uh, the keyboard was not invented at that time, but just hearing the sounds from a program, software program that I wrote with my partner Robert Folkrod, um, was able to create incredible um, feelings of peace and creativity. I would actually act, ask the um, both groups to um, hear, listen to the sounds, and draw what they thought the sounds would look like. Now, um, this is what, uh, I, and, and these, these were rather ordered sounds, but if you could almost imagine What they did was they drew very, very abstract shapes, very psychedelic types of shapes. And it was a three-hour workshop once a week. Each uh, person I would ask them after they had finished the drawing to write a poem on the back of a sheet. And um, they would write beautiful poetry. Their art was so beautiful that we were able to have exhibits for them in Boston at the um, different town halls in Cambridge and uh, it was quite amazing and wonderful to see how this rehabilitation of in drug rehabs in a prison really helped and it really took their minds off of um, if they needed I mean here they were isolated they were alone in cells during the day and the nights and this really gave, gave them a a meaning. I mean, the, the, the drug rehab, they'd wait until Wednesday, and I'd come in every week, and people would be waiting to uh, just go into the dining room and be part of the, um, the process, the creative process. And um, I believe this would be a way of helping all rehabs and prisons to allow rehabilitation to take place through the arts, through music and the arts. The, the interesting thing about the labdoma is it is not like the Western scale, as you can see. Uh, this is the arpeggio scale. And, the, and this is the subharmonic scale. And these are the shapes connected with them. And this really, uh, being here in the in this particular century, is a, like a new awakening for people to know more. I mean, to feel the sounds, to really feel them, and make uh, allow one to go within and, and decide what exactly uh, they they are. It, what who you are? Who am I? You could say.